Hello, we're gonna talk about thermostats. Um, they help heat our homes, and so we wanna make sure they're working. What's going on right now with this one is you see that there's no, there's no numbers on it, and that means that the batteries have died. They usually give you a warning before they go, but anyway, if you ever look at your thermostat, first of all, you probably notice that you don't have any heat coming into your home. If you look at your thermostat and you see that there's no numbers on it, then the batteries need to be replaced. Uh, there's a few different ways to access the batteries depending on the type of thermostat, but typically um, you can pull it off simply by, why don't you come closer so we can see this. Um, it's hinged up top, so you put your hands on the top and the bottom, and you pull on the bottom, and then it just uh, swings open like that, and then you can lift it off. Um, now, in this case, we can see there are no batteries inside just because we took, it, it took, we took them out for the demonstration. Um, sometimes they're AAA, sometimes they're AA. In this case, it's AAA. So we're going to take our AAA batteries. We're going to put them back in, making sure to point them in the correct direction. And then when we put it back on, um, it's pretty easy to put back on. The one thing you want to pay attention to is these pins. These pins need to line up correctly with the holes here. And as long as you are careful and, and gentle, it'll kind of guide itself back in. But I'm going to start by attaching the top at the hinge. I'm going to slowly swing the bottom down again and push. And because I've got it lined up correctly, it just snaps into place. If it, if it doesn't feel like it's going correctly, don't force it because it, you might be you know, bending a pin incorrectly. So start over again if it doesn't seem to go right. So now we've got our numbers back. Uh, other things we just want to check and make sure um, our thermostat's working. Um, we've got the options of having it heat off or cool. We don't have a cooling system here, but um, remember, of course, if the switch is on off, it's not going to call for heat. So we're going to switch it over to heat. And um, to keep the system simple, we press hold. So and we can see it's set to hold, and then we set the temperature to wherever we'd like it to be. Um, right now it's set at 70, and the actual temperature is 74, so it's not going to call for heat. Just to check and make sure the heat's working, let's push the temperature up above what the actual temperature is. So I'm going to set it to 77, and let's wait. We heard the click. Now it says heat on, so we know it's calling for heat. So 74 is the temperature, and it's already starting to warm up. When I press this button, it reminds us what we've actually set it to, and it's going to keep calling for heat until it gets to that temperature. And that is how we replace batteries and reset the thermostat. We can also program these um, to be different temperatures at different times of day. That's a more um, complicated uh, process that we'll talk about in another video.